Nick and Kalman, uh, great to be with you. Uh, Nick, first of all, your first visit here to Israel and, uh, and to Shalva. What's your reaction here to Shalva? Well, first of all, it's such an honor uh, to meet the founder and, and the whole vision between him and his wife. And coming from a struggle, coming from a place where they know how much of a need it is with any family dealing with special needs and uh, being born without limbs in Australia. I was thankful for my parents who were my heroes and I'm so glad to meet a modern day hero in Shelva being a shining star, a heroic effort of really making the difference, not making a difference, making the difference as a shining star and on an example on a worldwide scale and level. I am blown away. I am excited to already say that I can't wait to come back, bring my family to show them this incredible facility and beautiful mission here at Sao Shelva. Kalman, what does it mean for you to be here with Nick? More than I could ever have imagined. And I had imagined a lot. I have listened and watched and been inspired by Nick's words online. And meeting Nick is a totally different experience. And you see that anyone who comes close to Nick, including we just saw Shalva youngsters, young adults who work here in our employment area, and one by one, they were curious, but very quickly there were hugs, and there was just a love that you can't make up. So mm -hmm. for me, this is a, and as everyone here who has met Nick has said, this is just a very unique, special day. Thank you, Nick. It's a beautiful day for me. Nick, what, what kind of message do you want to bring to Shalva and to Israel? I think this is an example of knowing that every single life has value and full potential. And it does take vision and support and drive uh, to see a vision come to pass. And this being an incredible facility and center for the people to come in and be included uh, with peers as well and young people of Israel to see a wonderful example of knowing that every child here uh, is valued and, and given the support and even those uh, young mothers who just gave birth who needs that therapy is welcomed in with open arms and, and helping counsel through those difficult times. My mum would have been a huge benefit to one of these centers that did not exist and I can argue still does not exist to this level in many places around the world and so I traveling around the world have seen a lot um, and I am absolutely proud of seeing what's happening here and uh, the Shalva band that's a, a huge highlight as well that came from this place to inspire hundreds of millions of lives and people who play the victim card who it's always someone else's fault. I don't have enough. I wish I could do something with my life. Shalva as a holistic measure is really not just coming around those people who are struggling, but really inspiring those who have the inner struggles as well. Kalman, what message do you want to bring to Nick or how, how can you see yourselves almost uh, symbiotically partnering together? After listening to Nick, it's, fine to, it's hard to find words because he expressed it all in a nutshell, but it's without a doubt meeting Nick, I find I'm meeting a kindred spirit. And, you know, I look forward to staying in contact, being in contact, and as Nick said, this might be my first visit, but I'll be back. And I can see doing wonderful things to impact the world as we do. It's absolutely changing lives when they come into a center that is so beautiful that one wonders, well, wait a minute, this is all about people with disabilities. And they realize very quickly that yes, this is about disabilities who are all entitled to the same quality of life. And it forces people to rethink the whole subject of their views of disabilities. Anything uh, you'd like to add, Kalman? A lot. <laughs> I, you know, I don't, Nick, I wanna thank you for coming. It's extraordinary to have you here and your impact on everybody who meets you is just extraordinary. And you, my friend, are a gift to the world. And you, my friend, are the wise man who is using that gift mm. to impact and improve and change people's lives. Mm. 
I'm so excited, genuinely. I can't wait to break bread um, and just dream together. But I can't imagine um, that it would be one of the greatest honors of my life to one day come back here and uh, in Jerusalem share a stage with the Shalva Band and inspire all young people across Israel and the nations to tune in. And so when and how, I'm not sure, but let me just tell you, I will be coming back frequently to Israel. It's been a dream of mine to come here for 20 years. And uh, there was some reasons as to why I had not been able to come. I was planning on coming in 2020. Yes. And then uh, COVID did not allow me to come, but now I'm here and I cannot wait again to come back uh, with my family, my four children. I think they would be very, very pleased and encouraged to see what lives have been changed here as well. You're here to Israel for the first time. What is it? What does it mean to you? What does it feel like? It's very special that the first city that I go to in Israel is Jerusalem. We just flew in last night. We've gone out for a drive um, around the places already. And, but this is the first official meeting that we have. And so it's my privilege to report to you that uh, could not have started off better. A very small tour, um, some important meetings and planning for the future for me to come back. Um, my heart is overwhelmed with joy and it's a little surreal. Like I said, I've always wanted to come to Israel. It's my 75th country uh, that I've been to around the world and many, many times will I come back. Well, let me say I've known Kalman for many years and I, I just wanted to say, and I've seen you for many years as well on YouTube, right? but I just know that it, I feel like two giants have met in, in this field and uh, I just Really, it's, it's a blessing to be able to be with you all. To, to I think it's also uh, encouraging, as I'm speaking at the Jerusalem prayer breakfast, that Judeo-Christian aligned uh, principles and, and commonalities of beliefs that every single child should have totally. the quality of life. This is my main mission. I mean, many people have seen me online talking to young people about anti-bullying and so on. But I feel in this next chapter of my life, I'm about to turn 40, it's really going to be more mission strategically for using all the influence that we have for bridging the world together on the more common factors of life and value of human beings. And so I seriously am excited. And that music room was just it gave me goosebumps. It was awesome to be there and to see from this sense of what has been birthed and and this is just the beginning, and we're so excited for you, and thank you for your love for, for the children. Thank you, thank you. It's, for me, what Nick has just said is something that I sincerely believe in as well, as there are commonalities, and just as we always say, that we look not at disabilities, but about abilities, it's wise to recognize differences, but to look at commonalities and common values and go forward for the larger world with those values. Bravo. Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs>